Hey, how you doing? This is Chris from over at uh, 3dpilots.com and from the Facebook page and all that biz. So, uh, 3DS Max, my god, you're looking at it. Okay, well, I do still have a license for 3DS Max, hasn't expired yet. And um, what we have here is we have the leg from the Gypsy Widow. Okay, this is a tutorial set that I made for the Chinese market on building complex robots and stuff. And what I'm going to do is I am going to basically export all of this. So I'll go to File and Export. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show that basically you can use most of your stuff inside of Unreal Engine anyway. If you've been creating models for however long, you know, you can put stuff inside of Unreal Engine real easy and you've got, you know, a load of assets to get busy with. So I'm going to go to Export and I'm just going to just stick it, I'll just stick it on my desktop here. So I'm going to call it uh, Leg because that's what it is. Hit return, and then you'll see we've got all these options here, including animation. Well, there's no animation in it, but that doesn't matter. Um, usually it's fine just the way it is. It'll throw up some errors because I use, here we go, hoses and springs. So it's going to convert those to static meshes. I am fine with that. And it'll be done. Right, so now I can close that down. Don't need to save it. Bye bye 3ds Max. Pretty much all I use it for now is important. Okay, next I'm going to go to Window and I'm going to bring up a content browser. Here we go here, and at the minute I'm just in, um, you know, Unreal Engine, just in a kind of default scene here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, I'm going to bring my model into my scene. So I need to make an Assets folder, so new folder Assets, and I'm going to call this next folder inside it Imports. Okay, and now I can put my stuff inside there. So. What I'm going to do is go to my desktop, and there's night, uh, but I don't want night, I want the other one. Here we are, a leg, which I'll just drag into here. And under FBX import options, you'll notice it's not a skeletal mesh because I didn't build a rig for it. I'm not going to build nanite yet because that will um, change some of the geometry. So I'm just going to click import all. And here we go, so 210 parts. And what you'll see here is that it's brought them all in as separate units. Okay, so these are all kind of the little separate bits that I used to make my leg. Now, what I could do is I could just grab them all. I don't want to grab the materials. You'll notice we've got a lot of materials here. There we go. I'm just going to grab those and not the materials. And I can just drag them into my scene. Give it just a second just to center itself. And there we go, you can see that I have my leg just here, okay, all assembled and ready to go. And the good thing is that because it's using separate material instances, um, it'd be quite easy for me just to create a procedural, you know, system for that. And yeah, that's, that's okay. I mean, look, we've got all the details, we've got all my pistons, we've got all this stuff that I put in when I created it. Great. Now, if you don't want it as, you know, this multi-model, so I'm just going to save. I'll just take a moment. There we go, that's all saved. And what I'm going to do is just create a new folder. So uh, I'll call it parts. Because now we have like basically a giant parts library from all the stuff that we've just imported in. Bear in mind we've got all these blank materials too, but we'll sort those out shortly. So let's move these into here. I'll take a moment, there we go. And if we go to parts, I'll just grab only the materials, so here we go, we've got all these different materials here. And what I can do for the time being is just delete them all. And when I delete them all, it'll ask me what I want to replace them with. And we should have, you know, a couple of basic models we can use in here. Uh, not models, um, textures, so let's use that one. Replace. This will replace any reference to the pending asset, that's fine, it's a metal leg, give it a second. Okay, it wants to save everything is done. So now we've got this leg here and it's got, you know, the various different things on, on top of it. We also have this default material here because I haven't changed that. Okay, so we've got that one, but another thing we could do as well is we could import the whole folder, again, well, the whole um, FBX again. And this time, let's have a look at some of the options. So under Mesh Advanced, uh, we can import mesh LODs, but we can also combine meshes. 
and if we do that and just click import what it will do now is it will create a single mesh rather than a multi-part mesh that has all of our different parts in it okay now you can see this is fairly high poly this is 267,000 polygons but it's a static mesh so therefore it's not really too much of an issue and for draw cores if you're interested in that kind of thing well there's 17 materials on this at the moment there doesn't need to be so what I could do is I could probably just assign all 17 of these materials to be just one crow so I'll just get rid of those and let's find a nice chromey material I'm sure we just saw one a minute ago there we are, so I'm replacing it with that. Again, I'm going to say yes, please. It's performing the post update edits now. And we are done. So now both our legs okay, have the most simple possible amount of materials, and we have a lot of customizability for them too. Okay, I'll move this leg next to this one, and then we can pretend we've got two. There we go. Okay, so what we've done here is we've bought in and imported this entire thing inside of Unreal Engine. The benefit of this is we now have one single simplified mesh, and we also have lots and lots and lots of individual parts, which means that, you know, as I said to you before, it means that we have basically our own little library of assets. Now, the pivots are all relative to the positioning of the leg, so you can change the pivots inside the modeling tools, but that is how you do it. That is how you work with some of your older models. So I hope you find that useful. And uh, ta-ta for now. Oh, and uh, as usual, ring the bell, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Bye-bye.